Great what support. What are we making today? We are making our number one dessert seller at Pork and Mindy's. Number one. We have Natos, which are hand packed, hand blended milkshakes. Uh -huh. with Natos. Of crunchy stuff in it. Yeah. Natos, short for tornado, tornado. which was, wow. in my research, was the only weather systems left to apply to a dessert. <laughs> You know right. what I mean? You had blizzards, right. you got the it looks flurries, good, you got all stuff. So, so that's what we do. So this is a what I like to call the holy holy, holy cannoli NATO. So holy cannoli. My problem growing up eating cannolis was you have to chew a cannoli. Why chew a cannoli? I know. Why put that effort it? in? Right. Put it in a pump. My jaw was like, oh pump. my god. Yeah. So there's your cannoli. We're gonna take all those bits and and blend it into a shake. Starting with that ricotta cheese, ricotta cheese, whole milk. Right. And we're gonna add to this a little bit of heavy cream. And we're gonna right. get this a nice kind of. Um, you know, whipped, light, airy texture. Cool. So, and to this, a great, uh, you know, accompaniment to these flavors, because we got dark chocolate chips, we got pistachios. Uh huh. There's a little orange liqueur. Mm. Right? This is one of your 10 year olds' favorite. Oh, yeah, he loves the holy cannoli NATO. I mean, it's I, I love that holy cannoli. It's the orange liqueur. Right I think there. it is. How the dark oh, they? there's Lorenzo. Look at him. Isn't he Lorenzo, cute? What do you call Lorenzo for shorts? Do you have a nickname? We, Lolo, Lolo, yeah. Lolo. Lolo, Lolo yeah. Like Low or Lolo. You just turned 40, right? In I January? just turned 40, yes. Happy Thanks birthday. for it. Are you no, having I'm a, proud of it. I love, I love being be. 40. You look great, right? man. I got carted on the plane last you're, night. You're adorable. Nice. Like, you're like, can we see some ID? I was like, yeah, of course. Can I, how about you just you know announce louder that you need to see my idea? Yeah, yeah right. Over the really good. Next time. So no. we are gonna fold in some dark chocolate chips. Cool. And then we're gonna make the shake here. We're gonna yes. blend it. We got just good old vanilla ice cream. And you and uh, little Lola mm -hmm. share love for music. Yes, right? we do. We enjoy. It's famous. like he's a he's a a good drummer. He's in the school of rock program that's in our neighborhood, awesome. and he's been doing it for like three four years. Oh, that's us. Awesome. Oh. Yeah, jam together. My jam name. Y'all like to jam out. Yeah, so he, he's getting there, man. All right, we're gonna pause this. But yeah, we love it. We have our what? Beautiful, look at that. Yep. Nice. nice and whipped and blended until not too thick, but we wanna now ribbon this. Look at that beautiful thick milkshake. All right. And what we're gonna do is just kinda cheat this a little bit. All right. Put some of that. We don't wanna blend it too much. Okay. Just kinda get it in there. Is that thicken it up a little bit? This thickens it up. And and it kind of seizes when it hits that cold ice cream, so you get these ribbons and pockets oh, and yeah. all that beautiful cannoli filming. Do you do all these experiments in your kitchen at home, or do you go to the Pork and Mindy's to do it? I do it at, at, at a little a little bit of both. <laughs> Usually, if, if my wife's around, we have to do it uh, right. at the restaurant. Uh, but I do a lot it. of, like, for the kitchen, we do tons of recipe testing. I, I test all my recipes at home. Uh -huh. and, like, I usually make a giant. I'm a very messy artist. Yeah. Are you? So yeah. So she she's like, you should just open a kitchen and do this. Somewhere else. <laughs> What's this here? Okay, so that's some candied orange, you know, to help reflect the, you know, orange liqueur in there, uh -huh. which is a, another traditional Ready. topping. So you can even do this first, and if you want to get fancy, like, you can pipe that into. Oh, just nice. Like that. Beautiful. Nice. And now we got some whipped cream because all the shakes need some good whipped cream. Um, oh, sorry. That's okay. No worries. Oh, yeah. Nice yeah. job. Yeah. We got it. We like to mess with our chefs and not have yeah. oh, anything nice. in there. <laughs> yeah, Take this back to the green room. Air. <laughs> so then we put a couple of those <laughs> in there, put that right there, and then, of course, crushed pistachios. Nice. Always, Love pistachios. usually coating the outside of a cannoli. You guys had cannoli. Yeah. You guys get cannoli here in Nashville? I don't know. Do we have a cannoli place in Nashville? It ain't Hoboken. Is, is there like an Italian neighborhood in Nashville? So, is there a little Italy in Nashville? Feel, is there a little Italy? Oh, yeah. Right around the bend. Yeah. We have, um... Hey, they have pizza. Hey, Gino, Tommy, come <laughs> right. in here. Go get your cannoli and your Ponferrati. <laughs> These what? are like Luxardo cherries, so like good maraschino cherries. Oh, the quality. Right, the, the yeah. quality ones you find in fancy cocktails. Oh, yeah. So, so well, here we go. We? I want you guys to try this because I put a lot of... Oh, darn. Do we have to, really? I know. I get, give him the one with one cherry. Though. Yes, I know. Right, I did. Mm. That's, that's good. That's good. You see the... Heck, yeah, the, that's awesome. paper straws are hard for shakes, too, huh? Yeah. That's awesome. It's a NATO. Yes, it's good NATO. Good. That's All good. right. Remember to check out The Kitchen on Food Network Saturday mornings at 11 Eastern.